Turn on the torch. Light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Okay, what we got going on here? Simple hacks. Things that will make your life a little easier. And instead of using some of the stuff that everybody uses, I use a few other things. When I got the welding torch, I got one of those sparker striker things. And you know what? Never even put it together. Probably even broken. Who knows? I didn't even check it out. But this is what I do. Instead of using one of those, I use one of these. Now, you say, oh, no, it's going to explode. Not if it's empty. That's all you need. You can, you can use them on your grill until the gas is gone or ask your friends to save one for you, whatever. All you need is, let me see if I can get it at the right angle so you can see. Inside there is that little spark. You can see it from time to time. That's all it, that's all it matters. That's all you need. That electronic, it's an electronic spark. You don't have to worry about ever changing the flint. It's, it's always going to be there. That, it's sort of pyogenic crystal. You strike it, it causes an electric spark. Okay, now, that's number one. Number two, um, things that you need to do basic torch work. A uh, set of tweezers wouldn't hurt. Uh, graphite graphite pad wouldn't hurt. Uh, they've got them on eBay. You can buy them down into small chunks if you have to. Um, they come in handy. You can use the tools around you. Um, I use cutting a wire cutting torches, a wire cutters like this to zip off pieces of glass just like that. Boom. And it does a very good job. Also, if you ever get a scoring knife, this is a wonderful thing to have in your repertoire. Um, basically, you'll listen. Let me see if I can get it close enough so you can hear that, that scratch noise. And you can see the scratch. Wet it. Snap it away from you. Sweet as... And it does it well with tubing. Same idea right there. You can hear it crunch you can see the scratch you wet it and thumbs at six o'clock scratch it at twelve o'clock and push away from you always push away you don't want to push towards you shattering towards you don't uh, never mind um, that's what happens <laughs> if you don't put the thumb at six o'clock and your finger or, or your thumbs at tw 6 o'clock and the scratch at 12 o'clock. I think I had a little bit off and it shattered and never mind. Different story. Um, scoring knife. Tweezers. Very important. Um, some people have wet collet cans. I myself have a dry collet can. That way I can sort through it later and say, hey, I like that little piece. I can make it into a little tiny something or so on and so forth. Um, Now, lighting the torch. Let's get it on. And and the reason I'm using... Oh, it's going to do this to me again, isn't it? Okay. The reason I'm using the, uh, the simple torch is I want you guys to know, and you saw that. All it took was that little spark. The gas comes from the flame itself, okay? Now, when you're working glass... You're heating up a piece like so. You always want to make sure that when you put down a piece of glass, you don't put it down with the hot end towards you. No, 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 no. Hot in the way. What do you usually do subconsciously? You'll pick up the end that's closest to you. Always put the hot end away. Hot end. That way. Away from you. It will make a big difference in the long run. Otherwise, you do it like this, and it's, ah, never mind. Now, another thing that you're going to need, and it does help to have, is, and this is my special pair. <laughs> You'll love it. Talk about a budget 
pair of diademiums. I bought the lenses on eBay, and they were about thirty bucks instead of buying the forty or fifty dollar pairs. But you can you can get them sometimes for a decent decent price. What I did was I took the lenses and then went to the dollar store and got a pair of sunglasses and made them to fit. And that's my pair of diademium lenses at the moment. I do have another pair that I use, but I, this is my preferred pair at the moment. I do like it. Also, I put from one end to the other so it doesn't slide off the end of my nose all the time is just a little bit of surgical tubing. You can use string if you have to, whatever, but that sort of keeps it on the head. Okay? Now, next thing. Simple, basic things about melting glass. You've got to realize that you got to get it hot enough and work it to your advantage, not your disadvantage. Now what I'm going to do on this simple basic hack is I'm going to make a heart. It's close to Valentine's Day. It's in the middle of February. Well, it's going on the 8th of February here, so you got about six more days or so. All right, eight, but who's counting? <laughs> No, six. Yeah, well, eight. No, six. Excuse me. I'm awake. Now, the heart. I'm going to use the tweezers to make this heart. Okay? Simple basic. And what I'm doing, when I may, you know, you could just spin this rod that way. But I want this ball to be a little bit bigger. So I'm tilting it downward. And as I tilt it downward, it draws into a ball for you. Sweet. Now, what you can do at the very end, tilt it out a little, just a little bit, and it makes a teardrop shape. Now, that comes in handy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just flatten it like this. And there you go. Now, next thing to have in your repertoire, high expensive piece of, of equipment is... Ta-da! That old butter knife. Go to the dollars, you know, go to the, your, your uh, thrift store and get one or two of them. Big deal. Play with them. You'll find out they come in real handy. All I did was heat and press right at the middle of that top of the heart. And now I'll go ahead and uh, press out again. Sweet as you can please. Simple heart. Loop. Here we go, loop. De -loo. Another thing to have in your repertoire. Um, this is a little bit thick for a loop, but it'll do the job because I can take any type of glass, any size of glass, and make it to what I want. But what you do, touch it to one side and thin it out a little bit as you're pulling. Make a question mark. See there? Question mark. Or, okay, question mark. Now let it gravity work for you and let it draw back and, and just press it into itself. Another simple thing to have that will help you in your glass works is, and I'm trying to look for it, and you think I can find it. Instead, there it is. It's way over here. I have a nice rack of things I've reorganized a little bit and easier to find. I just forgot about it for five seconds. Now what I, this is a graphite rod. You can get these on eBay. You can, you know, just, they're worth their weight to make little loops like this possible. Okay, simple hack, simple stuff, simple heart. Why complex your life if you don't have to? And now I'm going to go ahead and heat up and just pull off the bottom of this heart. And there you go. And the best thing about making clear hearts is no matter what color the person's wearing, it will complement the color because the color will come through the piece. Okay? Simple hearts. Um, any questions, any other ideas that you have or would like to see in up-and-coming videos with my budget torch or my Carlisle torch 
or I also have a new Bethlehem champion, which I'm really excited about having into my repertoire uh, because it helps me to melt bigger pieces of glass. Even with my um, concentrators, I've also done a video with it uh, just well showing the difference between a concentrator and an oxygen oxygen tank, which uh, I borrowed from a friend, which is really, really good to have. Now. I'm going to do something a little bit different on this one. I'm sitting here still talking to you, so I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. This one's adding a little color to that same scheme scene here. Okay. Nice round ball. Press it in. Lollipop, a lollipop. Don't lick this sucker. It's really hot. Lollipop, a lollipop. Don't lick this sucker. It's really hot. Okay. I'm going crazy. Give me a chance. <laughs> now. Uh, I'll cross-reference this to another video that I did recently. Um, oh, where is it when you want it? I guess I can just grab another piece of it. This is... Uh, when you want it, there it is. This will work. Oh, well, come on. This will work. Okay. Turbo cobalt encased on top of, well, there's turbo cobalt in the center core. And then on above that, I put, uh, what I'm doing is basically drawing this on there. Just as a quick layer. Turbo cobalt, um, and then I double encased it and put uh, heavy blue stardust on top of that. And you talk about sparkle, glitter, shine. Really, really nice to have all the glitters people will pay the gold for. And this is a simple way of using your, your, your colors just as a backup color. Or ba and again, I'll do another heart here. Same idea. But this heart, the color is coming through from the other side from the, uh, the colors that I put in there. And you can't see it quite yet, but you should be able to see it shortly. And this time I flattened it on this. You can see it came out more of a lollipop shape than tweezer thinner, but that's okay. If you don't have, you don't have. If you do have, great to have in your repertoires. Okay? Simple tools. And it does make a difference sometimes. But you've got to realize... Who is in control of this glass? Who has to be in control of this glass? Question, answer is you. Sometimes it may seem to get the better of you. Take a deep breath. Walk away sometimes if that's what it takes. Don't let it get the better of you. You've got to realize persistence will pay off. I've been at this since 1982. And I have gotten really good at some things. And I am not the best at what I do. I'll admit that. But I feel like I've got a lot to offer. And I want to share. Click like. Click subscribe. Um, share it if you like to. Um, if, if you have questions... Write them down. Uh, email me. Uh, my email address is there. My uh, Facebook name is there. So if you want to become a Facebook uh, friend, make sure that you have at least a place where you live. People are trying to be friends with me on Facebook, and there's not even a, a place that they live or where they're at. And they only have one picture, which is them. And come on. I know you got to start somewhere, but at least... Put some of the info down, and if you have a mutual friend of mine, that helps a little, but I still look to see if you are from somewhere. If you're not, you don't make my list. Okay. Pointing it a little bit and pulling it off. Whoa, there it went. Spin! Let it cool a little bit. I am going to put this in the that one in the oven, but I'm going to let it cool a little bit and let you see 
that sparkly glittery come out in this thing. And let's see if I can rock it back and forth and tell. See if I can. All right, graceful. That's the hard part about this. Ah, the reflection is screwed up on this. I can see it. Anyway, it is there. I will show it to you as the cover. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Thank you for watching. As always, Carpe Vitro. And enjoy your day.